Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about university admissions tests and how to prepare for them. Your university admissions test is probably the most important part of your application along with your interview, so it's pretty natural to want to maximize your chances of doing well at it. On my part, I took the Thinking Skills Assessment or TSA in order to apply for economics and management at Oxford. So this advice is obviously going to be biased a little bit towards that particular test for that course, but if you're taking a different admissions test for a different course, then there's still probably value to be had out of this. So let's get straight to the point. How did I prepare? Before sitting the real exam, I did all of the past papers under exam conditions, and that's it. It sounds really simple, and it is, but something that might surprise you is that everybody who I asked about how they prepared for the admissions test basically did exactly the same thing. They just did all of the past papers before the exam, and that was it. Now, if you do less than that, then you're probably not preparing quite enough. And if you do more than that, then you're probably wasting time. Particularly for the TSA, it's constructed in such a way that it's actually really hard to revise for other than doing the past papers. And the website of the test itself says as much. The university admissions team want to make sure that it's a test that is as standardized as possible so that people can't have an unfair advantage if they have certain tips and tricks to help them do better than others. We have a tendency to over-intellectualize how to prepare for exams like this. And there's quite a few tutors and courses who will offer and charge quite a lot of money in order to prepare for tests like this. But really, you're at no disadvantage compared to anybody else if you just do that simple step. Do all of them. Don't do just one. That makes sense. And then use the time that you've saved to go do other stuff. Learn more about your subject read some books, or just go have fun. Now I've got some other small tips that will probably help you whilst you're preparing for the exam. They're not necessarily game changers. It's the sort of stuff that by the time you've done all the past papers, you'll have probably figured out yourself, but maybe I could save you a little bit of time in advance. So the first tip is look where you've made your mistakes and try to see if there's any patterns that you can learn from. My second tip is to read the question first. So the question actually appears at the bottom of the paper most of the time. Now, if you actually skip to the, the question itself and then read the paragraph that it's associated with afterwards, then your brain is somewhat primed to kind of look know what you're looking for. My third tip would be just to stagger out when you're taking the past papers. You don't want them to do them all now, but it's probably also a good idea to not leave them just for a week before the exam. Try to maybe do one or two a week under exam conditions in the run-up to the exam and with the final week doing a couple more than usual just to prepare properly. And my final tip is that because time management is usually so important for this test, for the TSA in particular, you have under two minutes to complete each question, and that is quite difficult to do. It's a good idea to make a note when you can't do questions and come back to them midway through the test or at the end of the test once you've done some other questions. Spending more than two or three minutes on a question makes it so that you probably have less time to do the rest of the paper. So when I took the TSA for real, it went a little bit worse than some of my practice runs, but overall the preparation that I'd done via those past papers definitely helped me to, to keep on the straight and narrow. I ran out of time a little bit, and that was a really common theme for that year's paper, but it seems it was obviously enough to get onto the course. If that was helpful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, and thank you very much. Adios.